I am sure that that genuinely appeals to some people and they would actually like to do it if they could, but there's levels of it, right? There, um, there's levels. And what I mean by that is um, the Unabomber actually did just live in the wilderness as like a wild man. Okay. Now there's no flush toilets, right? The, that stuff gets really old, really fast. Like, you know, there's no heating. Um, there's actual wild animals and they're not in a zoo. There's bugs. There's no refrigerator. Uh, you know, for, yeah. like it sucks. Real, it really does Real suck. economic scarcities. <laughs> Real economic scarcities. That's right. Yeah. Um, so like true economic deprivation. So then you say, okay, no, no, no. That's not what I meant. Of course I meant X level of technology. Where yeah. is X? Okay. Where do like you draw the, line? the Amish have actually, go ahead. I was going to say, where do you draw the line? Yeah. Yeah. So now it's not impossible to draw a line. The Amish have actually done so. Mm -hmm. So you, you probably end up with something that's like Amish like, you know, and then you have a boiling off or whatever. That's like the mm -hmm. most realistic variant where we can see that. Mm -hmm. So you have various people who Amishify themselves at different levels. That's fine, right? People mm -hmm. might want to freeze themselves in the fashions of the 1950s or restore, you know, France of the 1800s. I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Knock yourself out. You can have a little community like that, like uh, like the town, I think is a movie by M. Night Shyamalan on, on something similar to that oh, as a concept. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember that movie? I think. I do, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, so you can sort of like, uh, was it the town? What was it called? It was uh, the village. The village, yeah. Yes, yeah. it was. Okay. So the I town's the bank robbery movie. movie. <laughs> yeah, the town's the bank robbery. The village yeah. is the one, right? Um, so, so the Amish version is is fine. It's realistic. Knock yourself out. Go and do it. I don't. I don't care. The uh, the the dumb version. I think there's two dumb versions. There's dumb version. And there's the evil version. The dumb version. It's like people who think that it'd be really romantic to start a coffee shop. Okay. Like a farm is even more backbreaking labor than a coffee shop. Running a coffee shop sucks. Going to a coffee shop is great. You could just pay five bucks, whatever, sip some coffee. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know how commodity coffee shops are running them, especially today in like lockdown times, mm -hmm. you know, because the state has failed, all of these poor restaurant owners have to basically run this sort of TSA, like biohazard lab. You know, right. oh, I need to scrub down the countertops and where the, it's like all stupid TSA nonsense. It doesn't, yeah. I, you know, it's just a, like vaccines actually work. Um, and once you've got a vaccine, fine. I actually, uh, I understand that, but like the, the scrubbing of things when people have vaccines, I think it's whatever. Anyway, so, and you may disagree with me on this. It's fine. You know, we're not gonna be able to litigate that, but, um, the, the point being that it's because uh, running a coffee shop is hard and people underestimate that. I think they really underestimate how hard it is to run a farm. I mean, it's not Uber Eats. Okay. <laughs> like, like you can't just click a button and you know, the French fries come to your door. That potato has to grow out of the ground. Mm -hmm. That's not an on-demand process. It's the opposite of on-demand. It's, it's mm -hmm. high risk, but it's not just high risk. It's high risk for like this commodity product where you could have a potato famine. You know, one of the things that's actually very hard to get one's head around is how difficult it is to do physical stuff and yet how cheap it is. Cheap. That's a weird thing. Cheap in the sense of like, you know, if you, okay, have you, I mean, you've eaten tomatoes, right? Probably. Yeah. yeah. Like growing tomatoes is not that easy. I mean, okay. Yeah. You can have a little tomato thing, garden thing out there. Right. But yeah. like, Growing all the food on your that comes on your plate is a non-trivial oh, exercise. Yeah, yeah. I've seen a video on this where a guy made his own sandwich, I think, from scratch. Oh, that's great. Yeah. You, you know, and it was it, you basically you realize the value of the division of labor. Where if you're gonna try to grow the grain and grow the tomatoes and you know, harvest the turkey and the cheese, it I think he spent it was a it's a funny video. He spent like fifty thousand dollars on a sandwich, something like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It